In this video, we'll discuss how to backup and restore your system. You must backup and restore your system and data files regularly in case of disaster. What's more, an installed program or service may cause Windows Vista to behave badly, and you may need to restore your system to the point before you install the program or service so you can use your system again. Vista contains backup and restore tools, so you can schedule backups of your files or your entire computer, restore your files from a backup source, or restore the entire computer from an image. Here's how. Click the Start button, and then click Control Panel. Click the System and Maintenance link. Now click the Backup and Restore Center link. Backup files by clicking the Backup Files button, and then clicking the Continue button to open the Backup Files window. You can back up files to another hard disk, a CD, or a DVD, and Vista suggests a drive where you want to save your backup files. You can also back up to a network source by clicking the On a Network button and then typing the network location in the box. Then you can click the Next button to determine what files you want to back up. For now, click the Cancel button. Restore files from a backup location by clicking the Restore Files button. You can restore files from your latest backup session by default, or you can restore files from an older backup session. If there have been no backup sessions on your computer, Vista lets you know. Click the Cancel button. Restore the entire computer from the DVD or hard disk by clicking the Restore Computer button. The Backup and Restore Center dialog box asks you if you want to do this and tells you how to access Windows Complete PC Restore. Click the Close button. By default, Vista creates restore points automatically so you can reinstall Vista system files at an earlier point in time. Open System Restore by clicking the Repair Windows Using System Restore link in the Tasks list and then clicking the Continue button to open the System Restore window. Vista recommends that you restore the system from the last saved restore point, but you can also choose a different restore point. You can then click the Next button to continue the restoration process. If you want to create a restore point, click the Open System Protection link. For now, click the Cancel button.